Okay, grade 11 students. So in this video, we are going to discuss a creditors reconciliation statement. So this is the format that we have been given according to this question paper that was written in 2019. So it was a common test. All right. So as you can see on the required part, they said that uh, we are only looking for 3.3, uh, which is the creditors reconciliation statement. So you can also attempt... Uh, 3.1 as well as 3.2 and tell me on the comment section what do you think is the answer i will come and comment uh, according to your answer that you provided okay reconcile the creditors ledger account of citrole supplier in the box of chavalala traders with the statement received okay now let's go to a transaction okay information number a they said uh, that a uh, creditors ledger of chavalala traders is this one is our books in other words then after that they give us a statement then we need to do the following difference we found when comparing the creditors ledger to the statement so this is the adjustment that we are going to 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 do okay then let's start with the balance first so the balance is we are going to take the one from the creditors ledger and we take the one from the statement then we take it from there so as you can see the last balance on the creditors ledger it was 34,905 and under a statement it was 35,808 as you can see this amount are not the same simple means that we need to do what to reconcile okay then number one they say that invoice 843 was recorded incorrectly in the creditors ledger what you, you need to know first guys is that when we talk about a creditors ledger it's increased on the credit and decrease on the debit and the statement do opposite with the creditors which means that if we debit this side this other side we need to, to credit okay then invoice 843 was recorded incorrectly in the creditors ledger let's check invoice for 843 okay as you can see uh, it was recorded as 4770 and if you can check on the statement it was supposed to be 7740 so this amount was credited under a creditors ledger which means that they add less amount which means that we have to add the different so that it can be equal with 7740 because on the transition they say that it was incorrect on the creditors ledger which means that we have to rectify here okay so now which means that you are going to say a uh, 7000 this is the calculation 7740 minus 4770 then your answer will be uh, 2970 just like that that's how you correct this one and you have to show that it's a plus because you are adding on the credit side if you were drawing t account okay then the following one they said that the statement did not reflect discount for early payment on 10 and creditors ledger is correct okay there is a discount of 875 that was debited which means that it was also supposed to be credited this side and when we credit we're supposed to subtract because the uh, when we talk about discount discount to reduce what liability okay that's why it's a minus 875 okay we have to show it this side because they were show, they, they were only recorded this side and they said that it was correct okay then the next one they said that it was discovered that invoice number 1062 in the statement include goods valued 1000 ordered by the owner for personal use then the bookkeeper was not aware of this so when we talk about a uh, owner purchase item for personal use we are, we know it very well that it's drawings but it doesn't mean that 
it, it should not form part of these two statement because we are not talking about third party but if we are talking about another business which is not part of this we have to exclude it totally but uh, when we talk about uh, drawings it's related to to the owner which means that we have to show it as a drawings okay now let's take where the mistake happened here so this amount was also supposed to be recorded under creator's ledger account Th that's why they say that the bookkeeper was not aware the bookkeeper does not record the statement only record our books so we have to do what to edit this amount of 1000 it's like when you purchase on credit liability will go up okay when we talk about invoice invoice we receive it when we uh, we purchase item on credit but a receipt is when we um we pay we make a payment to our creditors okay now number four or number three okay this one was supposed to be here is a plus 1000 yeah now let's go to the next one goods valued 890 were returned to sitole supplier on 16 it showed as debit entry in both creditors ledger as well as on the on the statement so they uh, recorded this amount of 890 on the debit a goods return is going to reduce liability yes it's supposed to be debited on the creditors ledger which means that this side is correct but this side uh, of supplier it showed that it has increased liability if we return something we're not going to pay for it which means that we have to do what to subtract to indicate that liability has decreased so this amount was on the debit side which means that we have to cancel so that we can also do what record which means that this is the transaction that you are going to record this amount twice they want to cancel and they want to record so it's amount of minus 890 we are cancelling the one on the debit then the other one minus 890 we are recording on the credit side just like that okay uh, if you add these two you are going to get amount of minus 1708 okay then the next one they said that invoice number 772 on the statement was error made by citrole supplier citrole supplier is this one these goods were not purchased by several other traders which means that this is related to a third party which means that invoice 772 we have to subtract it okay it's amount of 3860 we subtract it because it's not related to us okay then the last one they say that goods purchased by chavalala traders has not been recorded by citole supply if you check we recorded amount of 9560 on 28 but when we check this statement a uh, number b of our supplier is not there at all which means that we have to do what to record because it's on the credit side it has increased liability even on the statement we are going to show increase of 9560 then after that we have to record the totals if you calculate the total this side you are going to get amount of 38875 please you said this one plus this one this is the calculation this one plus this one plus this one you will get this one in case where you have a minus like this you have to subtract and if you do the same you're gonna get the same amount of 38,875. That's how you balance a creditors ledger account. Very simple and straightforward. So I hope you are enjoying and you are learning. Please, guys, make sure that you subscribe. We want to reach 20,000 subscribers this year. Make sure that you also share. I'm gonna see you on the next video.